When we sit a lot, we're oftentimes kind of binding up and shortening a lot of our muscles. And one set of those muscles are the groin and kind of inner thigh. So this video is going to break down three of my favorite exercises to help alleviate some of that groin tightness and um, hopefully prevent future groin injuries like a strain or a sprain. So the first exercise that we're going to do is called the frogger. We're going to get our knees as wide as we can and if you can, open those toes up. So just be careful. And this is something that you definitely don't force. This is something that you ease into and over time you should increase your range of motion and get deeper and deeper into the movements. So I'm going to kind of walk my hands back, draw my hips back, and I'm going to start feeling the stretch through the inside of my thigh big time. I'm going to hold that position, try to breathe, try to surrender my tight muscles. And then after about five seconds, I'm going to come forward and just ease off and then try to go a little bit deeper. So you can open the knees a little bit more, back those hips back, and keep repeating until you feel like you're not making any more progress. The next exercise that I really like for the hips is kind of this sideline position. So once I get into that lunge, I'm gonna get that knee, kick it as wide as I can. I'm gonna keep this foot flat, and I'm gonna draw my hips back and down, and again, really stretch that inner thigh. Keep pushing, put tension, feel the stretch, and then I'm gonna chill out for a second, come forward and back, and then keep repeating. And each time, I'm just seeing if I can go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, and just use your hands to keep yourself upright, because again, we want to make sure that we have good posture. We don't want you to start slumping and compromising something else. Now, the last exercise is very similar to this, but all we're going to do is go toe up. So again, get into a nice wide position, draw the hips back and down, and you're going to feel more of the stretch that biases more of the hamstring. Hold that position for about five seconds, get off of it, and then repeat, and just make sure you hit each side.